Good morning everyone, my name is Tilan Priscilla from SMA 1 IPA A and today I will be discussing about matter. Classification of matter Matter can be classified into two parts and that is pure substance and mixture. Pure substance can be divided into two parts and that is element and compound. Element consists of metal, non-metal, and metalloid. Compound can be divided into two parts and that is organic and inorganic compound. Organic compound consists of aliphatic and aromatic, while inorganic compound consists of acid, base, and salt. Mixture can be divided into two parts and that is homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture consists of solution, while heterogeneous mixture consists of suspension and colloid. Element is a substance that cannot be decomposed into simpler substances. It is composed of only one kind of element. Compound is a substance that is made of two or more elements. It is composed of two or more kinds of atoms. Metal is a good conductor of heat and electricity. Non-metal is a poor conductor of heat and electricity. Metalloid is an element that exhibits both of the properties of metal and non-metal. Organic compound is a compound consisting of hydrocarbon. Inorganic compound is a compound without hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbon is a group of atoms consisting of carbon and hydrogen. Aliphatic is an organic compound without benzene ring. Aromatic is an organic compound with benzene ring. Acid produces hydrogen ion when diluted in water. Base produces hydrogen ion when diluted in water. Salt is formed by joining metallic and non-metallic ion. Pure substance is matter with defined composition and distinct property. Mixture consists of two or more pure substances. Homogeneous mixture is a type of mixture wherein only one phase made it visible. Heterogeneous is a type of mixture wherein two or more phases made it visible. Tyndall effect is the scattering of light in colloidal system. Solution is a mixture wherein the particles are too small to be seen and remain suspended. Suspension is a mixture whose particles are large enough to be seen and remain suspended. Colloid is a mixture whose particles are too small to be seen but large enough to remain suspended. Phases of matter there are five phases of matter, and that is solid, liquid, gas, plasma, and Bose-Einstein condensate. Solid is a form of matter with definite shape and volume. Liquid has no definite shape, but with definite volume. Gas has no definite shape and volume. Plasma is a form of gas which has the ability to conduct electricity. Bose-Einstein condensate is a form of gas which liquefies at an extremely low temperature. 200 until 273 degrees Celsius. Diffusion is the movement of particles from a region with higher concentration to a lower concentration. For example, dropping red dye to a bucket of water. Osmosis is the movement of water molecules from a region with higher concentration of water to the region with lower concentration of water. For example, kidney dialysis. Law of Diffusion of Particles Graham's Law by Thomas Graham states that at a constant temperature and pressure, the rates of diffusion of particles are inversely proportional to the square root of their molecular mass. The general equation is R1 over R2 is equal to the square root of M2 over M1, where R is average speed while M is molecular mass or relative mass. Example question number one. The average speed of a nitrogen gas molecule is 115 meter per second. What is the average speed of hydrogen gas and neon atom? First, we need to find the given from the question, and that is the average speed of a nitrogen gas molecule is 115 meter per second. So the Rn is 115 meter per second. Second of all, we need to find the molecular mass of nitrogen gas, hydrogen gas, and neon atom. To find the molecular mass of each, we need to look at the periodic table. 
The molecular mass of nitrogen is 14 gram per mole. And because of the formula of nitrogen is N2, we need to multiply 14 by 2. So the molecular mass of nitrogen gas is 28 gram per mole. The molecular mass of hydrogen is 1 gram per mole. And because the formula of hydrogen gas is H2, we need to multiply 1 by 2. So the molecular mass of hydrogen gas is 2 gram per mole. And lastly, the molecular mass of neon atom is 20 gram per mole. Next, we need to identify what does this question want us to find. This question asks us to find the average speed of hydrogen gas and neon atom. So we need to find the RH2 and RNE. First, let's find the RH2. To find the RH2, we need to write down the general equation from the previous slide. And that is RN2 over RH2 is equal to the square root of MRH2 over MRN2. The RN2 is 715 meter per second. The RH2 is what we're looking for. The MRH2 is 2 gram per mole. And the MRN2 is 28 gram per mole. We're gonna cancel the gram per mole because there's two of them. And the square root of 2 over 28 is 0 0.27. And then we're gonna write it down here again below. So it, it will be 515 meter per second over RH2 is equal to 0 0.27 over 1. And then we're gonna cross multiply. And then we'll be getting 0 0.27 RH2 is equal to 515 meter per second. To find the RH2, we need to divide both of these with 0 0.27. So we can cancel the 0 0.27 here. So RH2 is equal to 515 over 0 0.27 and that will be 1907.41 meter per second. Then we're gonna find the RNE. To find the RNE, first we need to write down the general equation from the previous slide. And that is RN2 over RNE is equal to the square root of MRNE over MRN2. The RN2 is 515 meter per second. The RNE is what we're looking for. The MRNE is 20 gram per mole and the MRN2 is 28 gram per mole. We're gonna cancel the gram per mole here. And the square root of 20 over 28 is 0 0.85. And then we're gonna write it down again. So it will be 515 meter per second over RNE is equal to 0 0.85 over 1. And then we'll cross multiply this. And we'll be getting 0 0.85 RNE is equal to 515 meter per second. To find the RNE, we need to divide 515 with 0 0.85. So the RNE will be 605.88 meter per second. So the answer for this problem will be the average speed of hydrogen gas will be 1907.41 meter per second and the average speed of neon atom is 605.88 meter per second. Example question number two. Compare the rates of sulfur dioxide and chlorine gas. First, we need to identify the given from the question. We need to find the molecular mass of sulfur dioxide and chlorine gas. To find the molecular mass, we need to look at the periodic table. The molecular mass of sulfur is 32, and the molecular mass of oxygen is 16. And because the formula of sulfur dioxide is SO2, we need to add the molecular mass of sulfur and oxygen times 2 together. So it will be 32 gram per mole plus 16 gram per mole times 2. So the molecular mass of sulfur dioxide will be 64 gram per mole. The molecular mass of chlorine gas will be 35 times 2 because the formula of chlorine is Cl2. So the molecular mass of chlorine gas will be 70 gram per mole. And then we need to identify what to find in this question. The question asks us to find the RSO2 and RCl2. 
to answer this problem, first we need to write down the general equations from the previous slide. And that is Ra over Rb is equal to the square root of Mrb over Mra. The Ra is RSO2, while the Rb is RCL2. The Mrb is MrCl2, while the Mra is MrSO2. The MrCl2 is 70 gram per mole, while the MrSO2 is 64 gram per mole. Then we'll be crossing the gram per mole because there's two of them. And then we'll be writing it down again here. So it'll be RSO2 over RCL2 is equal to 1.05 over 1. Then we'll be cross multiplying this. And then the final result we'll be getting is RSO2 is equal to 1.05 RCL2 or the RCL2 will be equal to 0.95 RSO2. So the answer of this problem will be RSO2 is equal to 1.05 RCL2 and the RCL2 will be equal to 0.95 RSO2. Method of separating mixture To separate mixture, there are many kinds of method that we can use, for example, Filtration, decantation, evaporation, centrifugation, simple distillation, fractional distillation, using separating funnel, using magnet, using suitable solvent, crystallization, and chromatography. Filtration is the use of layers of filters to separate substance from liquid. Decantation is the method to separate liquid from the residue using glass rod. Evaporation is the method of letting the liquid to evaporate until the solid components are left. Centrifugation is the use of centrifuge to separate mixture by density difference. Simple distillation is a method of separating liquid and solid in a solution in which the liquid is solvent while the solid is the solute. Fractional distillation is a method of separating a liquid from another liquid by means fractional column. Using separating funnel is used to separate immiscible liquid. Using magnet is used to collect metals from the mixture of solids using magnetism or mechanical separation. Using suitable solvent is the use of solvent in which only one of the solid is solutable to it, while the other one is soluble. Crystallization is used for obtaining a pure solid sample for solution. Chromatography is the method of separating two or more components that dissolve in the same solvent. Method of separating mixtures example Filtration Bring coffee using coffee filters. By running hot water in the coffee filters, coffee will be made. Decantation When combining water and oil, Oil will be floating on top of the water. Evaporation Drying clothes under the sun. The wet clothes will become dry clothes because the water on the wet clothes will evaporate under the sun. Centrifugation Purifying virus particles. Simple distillation Separating salt and water by boiling it. Fractional distillation Separating liquids ethanol with ethanol mixture by boiling it. Using separating funnel separating water and kerosene oil using magnet separating metals from sand using suitable solvent separating sugar and sand by adding water so the sugar will be dissolved crystallization water and sugar solution is boiled until there is only sugar left chromatography making vaccines chromatography is used in determining which antibodies fight various diseases and viruses Difference between simple distillation and fractional distillation Simple distillation is the method used to separate substances in mixture with significantly different boiling points, while fractional distillation is used for mixture containing chemical with boiling points close to each other. Simple distillation will only have one distillation, vaporization condensation cycle in the whole process. Well, the fractional cycle will have at least two cycles. Fractional distillation will use additional equipment called the fractioning column, 
Well, the simple distillation will not need that equipment. And that is it for the discussion today. Thank you for listening.